Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Matt Podcast. I said, usually I'm supposed to be libertarian roundtable type discussion. I usually have the one and only General Patrick Flynn. Lately, I said, uh, well, he is at work right now, but... He's been tending to family matters, matters of health and work. And I just want to tell you guys, I said, uh, he hopefully will be coming back. I did have, uh, for once, I did have a little libertarian discussion of my own. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I have notes and other type of uh, crappy little, uh, uh, I guess, uh, stuff I'm supposed to wing off of here. But this was actually a somewhat serious topic for me and I wanted to share with you for discussion and hate mail it was regarding your 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 trust in the government and why you shouldn't trust the government uh, one of these things was Japanese Americans and these were American citizens in World War II uh, many of y'all know that uh, they were put in internment camps and as much as I wanted to say call them jokingly call them POW or uh, concentration camps. I think concentration camps would work because they were singled out because of their background, their heritage. The irony is these were US, many of these were U.S. citizens. And German Americans weren't put into uh, camps, internment camps. Just remember that. But a lot of people don't recognize, because uh, our history books are pretty piss poor about covering this and so with liberal media and fox news also they won't bring up the fact that there were lawsuits uh, you know about their internment and this is years later and i think this actually might have been in my lifetime but something i wanted you guys to recognize without shoving my book right in front of your face of notes here the thing about the court case was the government, which I hate to tell you, it's a the courts is a tightly wound up with the government. The courts determined that yeah, it was unfortunate that the Japanese got thrown in the internment camp, but they were right for doing it, or the government was right for doing it. And this is what the court said, not me. I don't believe in it. I think they should have locked up German Americans. And have a good joke behind that too. And maybe even the Dutch, because the Dutch were collaborators. Now, as much as I wanted to, a lot of you want to throw an anti-French joke, like the the Vichy, the Vichy French, but I will go back to the courts. It's folly to think that our courts will defend your rights, because they haven't. They failed at, I wanted to say it was uh, the New London, uh, was it Velo v. New London? It was about uh, asset uh, eminent domain, basically the town giving a, a person's uh, property over to a developer just because it's going to help the public. Uh, but this time it was supposedly national security. That's something I want you to remember, that the public, uh, the public benefit and national security and all these... The, they want to justify seizing power and basically throwing you down to to garbage, down to the earth, and stomping on you. And I would say, even dare to say that it probably makes them feel better for doing it. But if they if they if our own government is willing to do that to citizens, people with rights, because of an emergency or security, what do you think they're gonna to do to you? Oh, they'd never do that. They already did. Americans, American citizens, denied rights because of whatever the government said. Now, you're like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not Japanese. I never have to worry about that. Well, yeah, you do. It easily could be I have an illness or you have an illness. You could have a genetic marker. You could have something that's inconvenient you could be triggering uh weirdos and snowflakes 
you could have a weird religious background, which we've already seen our government has uh, dealt with. And you might remember that as Waco. And I'm not a nut job, Matt. Well, you might be not a nut job, but you might have uh, some type of illness. You might be, uh, ladies, you might be a carrier of some form of HPV, and the government says, hey, we need to get type 12 HPV carriers and put them, take away their rights to make money and feed their families, and we'll send them to a camp. Oh, no. There's no such thing as camps, Matt. I don't know. These are the same people that their own court system says it was okay to round people up because of their race. In the Supreme Court, wouldn't, yeah, your courts. This is your courts. I'm like, there's the, you're exhausting the rest of the government that's willing to do the checks and balances. Your rights, they just flush down the toilet, you know. I mean, just think about that. It's, I mean, don't be an idiot. Don't think the government won't do it to you. They'll find a reason. Oh, I'm not a nut job. I'm not Japanese. Well, I've already told you, there's something else they can throw at you. Now, I'm not going to crow on and on, but I will put a link to, I think, that court case. Also, the New London case. I'll put something down there. Um, um, for what y'all don't... Uh, Understand, uh, you think it only affected the Japanese American internment only happened. Uh, I can actually put to a name to a face. You could say all these people died, but I think George Takai might have been a, a small child when that happened. And as much as I, I kind of skewer him, and I think he runs his mouth at times, uh, put a you can put a struggle to a face. That's that's the thing. People can't understand something. And I'll put a struggle to a face, George Takai. And it's more than being Japanese. This time it could be whatever, your trait. And it could be, you could be a conservative, you could be a follower of Christ, you could be a Buddhist, you could be a Earth, Earth Liberation Front people. Uh, when they're when the government's done with them, of course they'll, they'll round them up too. But uh, yeah, we'll look the other way. All right. Folks, uh, I'll, uh, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment way down below. Don't point at your crotch. Uh, notifications over there. Let me see. Ooh, I got hate email down below. Twitter, uh, Gab, Parlor. even though I'm having issues because their people are idiots. You can tell them I said that. Uh, have a good one, guys. Enjoy this video.